right, guys, so we're here in the shop right now. I want to do a little bit of um, kind of housekeeping, I guess. I want to say in, in, the, in light of everything going on in the world right now with this COVID-19 virus spreading around, I hope everyone's staying safe. I hope everybody's getting plenty of time in their shop working on their models. I hope everyone's staying healthy. So uh, I know it's kind of a weird time right now, and we're aware of it too. We're dealing with it. We're on lockdown here in uh, sunny Southern California. Uh, and we just wish it, wish well for everyone. So we hope everyone's doing okay. Um, that being said, moving on, uh, we've been putting out videos for a couple of years now. Uh, we've got about 120 videos out now. So if you guys are watching along and you're enjoying our content, please subscribe, please like our videos, please comment. Tell us what you like, what you don't like. Um, it gives us ideas for even more videos. That's why we're here today. We got another comment on one of our videos on knife edge mixing. Um, made the video a year and a half, two years ago, and we didn't have the best view of our radio while I was doing the programming. So here we are in the shop today. I've got my DX20 out. I've got the model set to the AJ Laser, rest in peace. Um, but I wanna do a little bit of a, a better job of showing you guys how we set this up. So I'm gonna do an overview of the of Knife Edge, knife edge Mixing uh, setup in the DX series of radio by Spectrum. Uh, we'll expand this to the IX series soon and also be doing some on the JR line because I'm moving over to do uh, more flying with JR radios now that they're making a, a solid comeback and I've got a lot of friends flying their stuff so I'll be looking for that. So anyways, let's dive in and let's check out the, the programming of the DX20 for knife edge mixing. Alright, so here we've got the the DX20. Here's our home screen with the AJ Laser. In order to get into the mixing, we're going to go ahead and we're going to push the scroll, uh, scroll wheel right here. As soon as we click on it, we go into the function list. First thing we want to do is we want to scroll down to the mixing menu. Once we're in the mixing menu, like I said in the original video, right here on the top, it says rudder to aileron slash elevator. What this means is when I give rudder on my left stick, because I fly mode two, it's going to add aileron and elevator to the amounts that I programmed in. So if we scroll down here, first thing we talked about is the switch switch being on. I like my mixing on all the time. Uh, there are a couple of exceptions to this. I turn off my downline mixing when I'm landing and I tie that into the same switch I do my my th uh, idle down switch. We can talk about that later. But in this case we want it to set to on. So you'd go in here and you'd scroll through until it got to on and you'd click. <coughs> if for some reason you wanted to put it on a switch you'd click until it was blinking uh, like that and then you would grab the switch you want and you'd flip it and it would automatically set it to that switch But again, we're not doing that. We're gonna go to on Go back here and we're gonna leave it at that now next thing we did like we were talking about in the video is we went into the rudder to aileron so this means every time I give Rudder it's how much opposite aileron or how much aileron it's gonna give so one this is gonna be to the left and this one's gonna be to the right and you can see here it gives you the monitor which is kind of nice because in the video we showed me doing it by by looking at the plane and when I gave the rudder input uh, I would look and make sure the elevator was going the way I wanted so or aileron right now we're talking aileron so I knew I wanted opposite aileron so if I give left aileron I'm looking at my aileron here aileron one is moving to the right when I give left so that means if I want opposite when I give left rudder I'm gonna want it to move the same way in my mix okay and you can see it's actually doing that here and that's how it's set up see either on one's moving to the same direction which means it's actually opposite aileron and same the other way so anyways we we went in here we found out we had very little mixing in the uh, oh again let me show this when I move the rudder left you can see the aileron move a little left and we can do the same thing with the elevator um, but as I talked about in, in, the, in the video, I went up and flew, saw what it needed, saw it needed very little, so my, my inputs were very small. Some planes are gonna be more, some planes are gonna be less. Once we have our aileron working both ways, or we'll do the same thing with the elevator, and again, I would go in here and I'd look at my left elevator and see when I pull up, it goes to the right. So I, as I remember, we needed uh, up elevator on this one, so um, here I am on my rudder. Let's see my elevator moves. You can't really see it. Oh, it's no, we can't really see it on this one here, can we? We don't see our RL. There's my RL up top. 
Yeah, it's not really, we don't have enough percentage to see it in the monitor, but if I were to go and increase it in here, now, there's my rudder, you see my elevator moving just a little bit there. Okay, so that's another way to check it is through the, the monitor. I like to do it with the plane, just because it's nice to actually see it doing it, but the monitor is a good substitute for that if you're in the shop and you want to make a little tweak. So, anyways guys, th that's the basics of how you would set up your rudder to aileron elevator, your knife edge mixing. Uh, guys, there's really no pride here. We have these amazing radios that do a lot of stuff for us and can, can process stuff way faster than our brains can. Why not use them? I can't tell you how many times over the years I've heard guys say, oh, I don't, I don't program any mixes in my radio because I don't need it. I can do it with my thumbs. Well, I can do it with my thumbs too, but you know what? I don't have to. And especially as you start flying better, uh, if you're competing, why put that workload on yourself when you can offload some of that stuff onto these radios that you're paying a pretty penny for in the first place. So that's my take on this, guys. I hope this helped. Again, please like and subscribe. Uh, we're waiting for the weather to clear up a little bit and some of these bands to lift so we can get out and do some flying. We've got the uh, Extreme Flight Yak almost ready to go. We're going to get out and do some maneuvers with that. I'm going to do a set, uh, video series on setup and how I trim a plane and how I adjust CG and how I try different things. Uh, hope it all helps guys. This is the that's the idea. Uh, give us some feedback Let us know in the comments below if you like this video What other videos you'd like to see what kind of programming tips you'd like what kind of flight videos you want? We'll see if we can make them happen. Thanks guys That's pretty good, dude. Oh, thanks, man. Nice, I think nice we job, got some man. good footage. Oh, I think so. Hold, hold on a second. You still watching? What the hell dude? Why are you not clicking the subscribe button? You stuck around this long? Yeah, give us a like on this video while you're here at least yeah and get your friends. Tell them to like it. Some people. You gotta you gotta talk with all of them, you know. But we still like them. We still like them. All right.